In this video, we're going to sketch the region of integration for this integral, and we're going to switch the order of integration. So let's go through it um, very slowly. This is one of the harder topics uh, in, in Calculus 3. So let's do it. So we're going, first we're integrating with respect to y. So we're going from y equals 0 to y equals this. So let's draw a little picture. So y equals 0 is a horizontal line. So it looks like this, and it's basically the x-axis, y equals 0. And then we have y equals this. So y equals the square root of 9 minus x squared. You might say, what is that? Well, that's the top half of a circle. If you don't know that, what you can do is you can square both sides. So if I square this side, I get y squared. And if I square this, I get 9 minus x squared. Then you can add x squared to both sides. And so you get a beautiful circle of radius 3. Remember, this is r squared. r is the square root of 9. This is a circle of radius 3 centered at the origin. So this equation here basically gives you the top half of the circle. So it's going to look something like this. And notice if you plug in 3 and if you plug in negative 3, you get 0. So you'll have a 3 here and a negative 3 here. And notice it agrees with the other limits. y goes from 0 to this function here and x goes from negative 3 to 3. Boom, it works out beautifully. It really, really works out nicely. So this is the region of integration. Okay, this is your region of integration. So now we have to switch the order. So let's go ahead and do that. So we have our integral, and here we have f of x, y. And then we're gonna do dx, dy this time. So this is dx, dy. Okay. So to switch the order, first we're doing x, then we're doing y. So when we're doing x, uh, we have to think of this as a function of x. So what we do is basically solve for x. So we kind of did that here, uh, except we didn't finish. So now we'll subtract the y squared. So we get x squared equals 9 minus y squared. And when you take the square root here, you get x equals plus or minus the square root of 9 minus y squared. So what happens is this piece here, this right piece here, is going to be the positive uh, 9 minus y squared. And this piece here is the negative. So this is negative square root 9 minus y squared. Basically, the positive one is the entire right half of the circle. The negative one is the entire left half of the circle. Except we have other restrictions, right? We have, we have a, a y, a, the x-axis here. Okay, so x is going from here to here. So this one goes on the bottom, right, left to right, bottom up. It's an easy way to think about it. So this will be 9 minus y squared, and this one will be same thing right here, 9 minus y squared. So uh, that's one way to think about it. Another way to think about it is think about it as right minus left, right minus left. Top minus bottom, right minus left. The, both of those ways of thinking uh, work and will always give you the right answer. And then y has to go from here to here. So this number here is 3. Remember, it's a circle of radius 3 centered at the origin. So we're going from y equals 0 to y equals 3. y equals 0 to y equals 3. Again, let's go through the whole thing one more time from the beginning. That's the answer, by the way. Initial question is this. We know we're going from y equals 0 to y equals that. y equals 0 is a horizontal line. y equals this is the top half of a circle. So we have that. We're switching the order. So when we switch the order, we're doing dx dy. So now we have to think of everything in terms of functions of y. So basically, we have to take this and solve for x. So we subtract the, we square both sides. Uh, I added the x squared, got here, subtracted the y squared, got here, took the square root. We get a plus or minus. The plus is the entire right side. The negative is the entire left side. However, notice um, the picture is going from 0 to 3. Let's draw the picture. Let's actually draw the picture without looking at this. So we're going from, from here to here. So we have this entire right side, and we have this entire left side. However, uh, y is going from 0 to 3, so we're basically eliminating, we're eliminating the bottom piece, and we're just working with this piece here. I hope this video <laughs> has been helpful. If it's confusing, um, just do more examples. This takes uh, a lot of work 
um, to get good at. That's it.